So, to continue where I uh, left off, uh, the billionaires are getting wealthier to an ex obscene degree, and that's making um, their ego so inflated that these are not people that should be in office, uh, especially the pre office of the President of the United States, period. Um, and um, I have a lot of respect for uh, former Mayor Bloomberg and Elon Musk. I think Elon Musk is a genius. Um, I, I find it a little disturbing um, that Elon Musk uh, has demonstrated some of his behavior, a, a complete lack of empathy um, and uh, a coldness and entertains the, the nightmare scenario of AI uh, to the extreme, which leads me to believe he's maybe already experimented with an evil robot or an evil drone uh, that's self-aware. Uh, just to see if, you know, uh, it's possible because he is a genius inventor, experimenter. Um, but that's another person who uh, needs to be regulated is so far as their uh, ability to uh, uh, elect politicians uh, who would violate uh, the rules of uh, uh, that, that the, the laws that protect us, the free speech and uh, not having these billionaires like Jeff Bezos too is another one uh, Warren Buffett uh, sign an agreement that they're going to hand over their money um, and uh, do like what the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation is doing but enact universal solar energy legislation I mean that would be something Congress would have to make into law um, and you'd watch the free for all going after oil in the Arctic and um, a, a lot of the um, scrambling for oil because there's an uh, unlimited uh, amount of oil tapped uh, under the ocean in places like Bahrain. Um, uh, you'd see you'd see a fundamental change, and um, it, it would it would be necessary for us to say to other countries, okay, well, if you want support from the United States, you have to give up your fossil fuel dependency and give up your, your imports from Russia and China. And that would fundamentally alter the socioeconomic structure of the world as we know it. Even the highways or transportation systems would be transformed into most likely some type of flying vehicle or insulated tube technology instead of uh, uh, what we know it with uh, rubber and, and wheels uh, on a road. Um, the future uh, could very well involve our telomeres not uh, failing us as we age. Instead, the telomeres and our cells uh, continually rejuvenate, um, which essentially suspends the aging process. And once it's understood that AI can repair itself and fix itself and correct itself from making its own future mistakes, um, it'll actually be able to grow uh, a biological organism um, that's no longer uh, a robot as we know it, but essentially a new form of life. And our ability to splice a pair of butterfly wings uh, on the back of a human being or uh, uh, have, have bones that um, can, you know, or, 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 or different parts of our body that are, that are um, uh, spliced uh, genetically, you know, so we could glow in the dark, uh, or, or, or sprout wings, or, 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 or um, have the blood of uh, an alligator, <laughs> you know, or, or, or some type of alteration uh, to our immune system and um, genome structure is a very real possibility. And these kinds of things will never take place on the face of this earth unless human beings stop this massive war machine where all the money is being spent into these big bombs that blow up people and disintegrate them and cost millions of dollars and result in the memories of, of children and innocent people screaming and gurgling in, in death and the horrible smell of burning flesh and skies that are filled with smoke and 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 and, and these horrific uh, 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 a 
aftermath, this, this mess that's left by the war all over the world, could be stopped by the United States leading by an example and saying, hey, you know what? You have to put down your weapons and you got to play by our rule book. And you'll see how quickly um, countries like Iran and China and Russia, North Korea, and a slew of other countries begin to turn inward because the rest of the world has shut them out. And when they need something to fix their oil burner, that little part, you know, um, or that little component, um, you know, little by little, they will no longer be able to drill uh, for oil or the precious metals uh, needed for the cell phones and technology that go into the drones. And, you know, I'm not encouraging a war and invasion of China and Russia. I'm not promoting violence or nor am I encouraging the assassination of, of, of Vladimir of the, of the Putin, which is called Vladimir, okay? I think he is, is best off just stepping down and uh, subscribing to my YouTube channel. And, um, you know, uh, perhaps having a discussion with me about uh, what, what's best uh, done with his uh, tremendous amount of wealth and, and how investing that money uh, in AI and, and signing a, a pact for, for universal solar energy legislation. I mean, that would, that, that, if, you, we, if we can get the other countries to sign that, that are our adversaries, um, that would be a wonderful, wonderful thing uh, for the United Nations to pull off. Now, I would mention these kind of things, and the Koch brothers would walk in the room, or um, uh, say, uh, say some, someone else very powerful, like Jamie Dimon or whatever, would, would walk past me, and I'd have my suit and tie on, and they would be going to some meeting or some interview with this... Uh, with one one famous radio host uh, after the next at, at CBS and, and Bloomberg Radio and, and um, these were um, like uh, uh, the ideas of, of uh, the hippie or the the dreamer the, the unrealistic person has no concept of how the markets fluctuate and how the markets operate you know? um, but you know. <laughs> democracy has fueled and funded all these big businesses you know who who's the who who is it but us at peacetime making business making making things work um and in wartime sadly too our, our economy um was was fueled by a wartime economy but our entire nation is is a large in large part a reflection upon the disaster that the European uh, culture has, has done for the rest of the world, the westernization and industrialization of the entire planet um, is, is a reflection of the machines that we built to kill one another. Even the automobiles that we drive, in the highways, um, if you go to the Autobahn in Germany and you, you drive down it, you'll see how flat and level it is because before it was the Autobahn, it was a Roman highway. and, and and it, it was engineered to be perfectly level and pitched so you can drive 300 miles an hour and not go off the road. Um, and, um, you know, this, this is a, a, a reflection, the, these, these precision guided missiles that we have, those are is a response to the V-2 rockets, you know, that were being launched out of Germany. And, and our whole world as we know it, um, thinks first and foremost of self-defense because of our enemies um, trying to kill us. There are people out there that literally hate us Americans. They hate us. Um, there are people who are so brainwashed in thinking that men have to look a certain way and act a certain way and, and grow their hair a certain way. And, and, and um, the same goes for women, you know. And uh, that's not the American way, man. You know, to sound like an imperialist, but at this point, it's the American way or the highway. It, it's it's got to be. It's got to be about democracy and equality for the people. Income equality is is 
so rampant in this country, and that's that's not equality. If if uh, mo most of our lives are spent in traffic, going to and from work, and not with our families, we've been wage slaved um, all over again, and and it's just the illusion of of having freedom um, when you don't have enough money. It's just the illusion. Um, unless you are living um, like a, a wild uh, animal, uh, like we used to always live, all of us, in harmony with nature, in harmony and in, in moving with the seasons in a nomadic fashion, um, you know, uh, without a worry or care in the world, um, because you, you don't value possessions and, and um, you, you, you couldn't possibly imagine uh, the concept of actually owning land, uh, let alone another human being. And th these were the Native American, um, the, the, these, these were the Native Americans that were here. And uh, it was just, it was just like a, um, it, you know, at first the, the viruses killed most of the indigenous people here who towered over the Europeans, these big, massive, tall Native Americans, it was big people. Uh, very strong, um, didn't have guns, um, but they fought ruthlessly. But the the virus that the, the, the really uh, depleted their population left them completely defenseless, defenseless against Europeans. And Europeans just came over and just started doing their thing, and without realizing that what they were doing was destroying a culture that was in response. Um, to over civilization, the Native Americans here they had developed a democracy. They had developed a peaceful society, along with the Plains Indians, in response to some of the horrors um, that happened in in other parts of the world, um, and even in in Central and South America. Um, I stood on top of some of those periods, and I I could feel I I just like when I was in Amsterdam and I went to the torture museum, and I I could you could feel something that's blood soaked that has pain in it just by touching it I, I have a strange uh, superstition about that you can you just kind of feel certain things um, that went down um, when you're in that place <laughs> uh, where they happened and um, it's almost as if human beings would would just prefer to be stupid and, and manipulated and not see the light, not see the truth, ignore science, read something in a book and be told what to do, go to work, go home, put the TV on and not think about it. You know, so for those of you uh, watching TV, please don't forget to subscribe um, to my YouTube channel because, hey, let's admit it, TV, watching TV is fun. It's something that's one of America's favorites pastime, but it's like, what do you watch? Do you watch misinformation or do you watch information? Do you download things to your benefit or do you download things to distract you? Like, there's a difference between watching sports, mind-numbingly boring, um, not going to get anything intellectual, really, um, versus watching a documentary. You know, there's that segment of our population that just... Um, wants to stay stuck on Channel Stupid.